That's the term. Tingnan niyo sa biling ninyo. Alam mo ano yan? That is the fee that they are collecting since time. And it was uh, when the contract took effect. Yun yung water treatment. Gentlemen and ladies, the President of the Philippines, Mayor Rodrigo Roa Duterte. Sit down. Salamat po. House Speaker Alan Peter Cayetano and other honorable members of the House of Representatives, Social Welfare and Development Secretary Rolando Joselito Bautista, National Defense Secretary Defen Lorenzana, and the other members of the Cabinet, Senator Bongo, officials and employees of the Department of Social Welfare and Development, other distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Just to, before I start, in a way, basahin ko lang naman to. This is the run of the mill. Uh, well, it, it uh, contains everything that you need. But, uh, sabi ko, Venet Supply. You know, I was walking on along Anda. Galing ako ng Cicels na yung magandang kainan sa merienda. I met this uh, your secretary. He was quite pale and uh, sickly. Uh, uniform medyo medyo maluwang na. Sabi ko, what happened to you? Sabi niya, as always, sakit niya, kagaya ng sakit ng lahat ng sundalo. It's always the liver and kidney. Kasi ito sila, umiinom ng tubig na kung saan-saan maabutan. Uh, well, of course, the hygiene, if you cook, uh, in the mountain, itong sundalo, hindi naman ito. Walang sinusunod itong hygiene eh. Basta, mabusog lang. Uh, at sabi ko sa kanya, why don't you just uh, go to a doctor or see my doctor? Sa so, tawagan ko lang na, uh, patingin ka lang, Whatever. Uh, I ko ko pumunta siya, but the next time, kita ko siya, he was a bit uh, healthier and uh, more animated. <laughs> that is how I remember your secretary. Yan sila lahat. Lahat na nakikita mo dito ng military. Dumaan yan sa Mindanao. Kaya kilala ko lahat. At one time or another, in the course of their military uh, journey, dumaan yan sila ng Dabo kasi rotation talaga yan. Eh. So almost all of them kilala ko. And that was the reason why na early on, uh, gaya ng ating Secretary of National Defense, he was once uh, assigned uh, in Davao and he brought with him the 2nd Regiment Battalion of the Scout Rangers. Uh, yung iba sa Marawi, uh, yung iba naman sa trabaho. But almost all of them kilala ko by Talagang kilala ko. At, uh, you know, before I, itong trabaho ninyo,
na awa ako sa inyo. I really pity the DSWD and the military. Alam mo, pag pumutok ang bulkan, DSWD, police, pati military. The first responder. Kung may landslide, police, pati military. DSWD. Kung may tsunami or uh, the one that happened in Leyte, DSWD, military, pati police. Kung may sunog, DSWD, military, pati police. Baka hindi nyo nalaman talaga gaano ka-importante yung trabaho ninyo sa Pilipino. And that is why, well, of course, uh, it's also the invitation of uh, a good friend. Sabi ko pupunta ako. Um, hindi ko na, ano, na pati foreign affairs, pati social security, nandito pala lahat. <laughs> <laughs> ano bang, well, anyway, Good that uh, you're here, because uh, I'll be talking about the the human's job of uh, uh, our government worker. Awa ako sa kanila, they are there, and doon sa taal, which reminds me uh, na alam mo, matagal na yung sundalo ko pati police doon. And uh, they have been trying, or they are acting as the bar so that people cannot go back to their uh, lands and places because it's dangerous. Alamo, we can only do so much. Pagka pumilit yung tao and the government enforcement guy uh, bars him and he has to do it physically. Alam mo, ang physical contact can sometimes uh, result in a ugly situation. Kasi magpipilit eh. Tapos yung salo, sundalo naman pati polis, eh, masapak talaga kung ayaw mag... Then it becomes a, a conflict now. Uh, ang problema nito, it is always the government man who is the guilty culprit. So, ang akin ngayon, kung itong mga taga-taal, I, I am withdrawing my, my police and eh, they have been there for so many weeks already. Puno na yung lungs nila ng abo. Kaawa naman. So, kung ayaw talaga sila, I'll, I'll leave it to the mayor and to the police. Yung police talagang na-assign doon. There's a police station there. Uh, and there are men. Sila na. I'll leave it to them to enforce the law as mandated by the authorities upstairs that it is, uh, you know, I'm ay naiisturbo ako sa ganda ng isang babae dito eh. <laughs> hindi ko tuloy, hindi ko tuloy ma ano yung I could not establish a trend. Ano ba yun? Sabi yun? <laughs> well, you know, uh, we can only do so much. We, beyond that, Uh, to physically restrain and uh, maybe uh, the result would not be it would be an ugly one eh ang mademanda talaga niya ang police pati sundalo ganun yan eh that's the sad fact yeah, they do not know what the other guy is doing uh, he's there to enforce the law or and order coming from his superior 
and then he gets into a hot water. Problem is sometimes when there is a case filed, he's left alone to fend for himself. At saka ngayon, by this time yung nauna na doon, I'm sure that they have inhaled about one sack of uh, ash already. Uh, sabihin ko na sa ano, army pati na uh, pawidro na lang. Pawidro na lang ninyo yung army uh, kasi kawawa. Well, they're also human beings and they suffer. And when they suffer, they have also families to worry as just as what the guys are worried there. So, ipalabas ko na ngayon, kung gusto nila talaga pampilit ng pamunta, di sige. Uh, I, I suggest you even sige, mag-alis na kami kung gusto ninyong tumalon dyan sa cauldron of fire and lava, go ahead. Para make it short. Yan ang ano ko dyan. Kasi ang trabaho ninyo, pariho ng polis. The first thing that I, 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 I the, the question that I, when I go down sa sakyanan, o um, basi ano klase yung sakyan, eh, si Rule, pagbaba ko sabi ko, mga tao mo na dito na. Yun, uh, tapos doon sa mga military, na mga tao mo deployed na. Yes, sir. Okay. Kung pante ka na. Yun ng dalawang yun. Yung ibang services ng gobyerno, hindi masyado. Walang dalang pagkain, makikain pa. <laughs> Sabihin na ba kong insulto? Wala. The other, after, maybe, the catastrophe. But during, it's always the DCWD. Pati ang military to keep order. Yan ang hindi niyo alam. Mas importante talaga kayo. That's what I, the, the purpose of uh, veering away from my speech. Kaya gusto ko lang paalam sa inyo na uh, one of the noblest thing is really your job. Uh, feeding people and saving lives. Pagkari ng mga litari, pati polis. And the country owes you a lot. So, in behalf of the Republic of the Philippines, I'd like to thank all of you now. Lahat kayo sa servisyo ninyo. <clears throat> now, I will read the speech of the lady who made this. Siguro yung maganda dyan, oh. Pinatago niya yung ulo na dyan doon sa sundalo. Psst! Lumabas kang... Eh. Ah, tabi mo, ginatago niya. Ikaw, China, eh. Today is a most auspicious time to talk about the true meaning of malasakit at pagbabago. As we celebrate the 69th founding anniversary, of the Department of Social Welfare and Development. For nearly seven decades, the SWD has been the lead agency of the government in ensuring that Filipinos have equal access to opportunities and are enabled to improve the life of quality in a fair, just, and peaceful manner. Lahat ng dole out ng gobyerno, pantawid, inyo lahat yan eh. So, double talaga ang trabaho. And it's not easy. You go to the mountains, nandiyan yung mga pagmakita mo yung NPA, yung putang ina si pae ninyo. Sabi kayo ang numero uno, tiga ano. The agency's strong commitment in pursuing policies and programs for poverty alleviation, protection of human rights. Ibigay mo lang yun doon sa mga bayot. And compassion for the most vulnerable and disadvantaged, among others, are truly commendable. 
Since I assumed office in 2016, the DSWD has served over 4 million poor households to the Pantawid Pamilyang Filipino Program or For Peace and the sustained Kapik Bisig Laban sa Kahirapan Community Driven Development Program in 18. 30 municipalities throughout the country. Alam mo, sa totoo lang, pag mawala lang itong korupsyon sa gobyerno, mata lang ang problema. I think that uh, maybe kung mahinto ang korupsyon, 5 to 10 years, if we catch up the, the standard of uh, maybe not Malaysia, but uh, Indonesia. Sila naman kasi may oil. Alam mo ang nakaproblema dito sa Pilipinas? Wala tayong oil. And oil is everything. It runs the country. Hindi binigay sa atin ng Diyos eh. O kung meron man, hindi pa natin na discovery. But Indonesia, Malaysia, Brunei, have oil. So, wala sila masyadong problema dyan because uh, almost one half of the total what's about mga for GDP no? kinakain ng the income uh, kinakain ng oil yun ang problema sa atin plus the corruption if we can do away with corruption in about 10 years' time, we will really jump. Parang a, a better economic situation. Pero kung may corruption, awala. I do not mean to belabor the point. Ayaw ko kasi baka sabihin ng mga gagong yan na sila lang ang tinatarget ko. But as I have insisted during the campaign, I told you na yung corruption dyan sa uh, customs, BIR, they're just pitans to the corruption being done upstairs in the higher or in the highest echelons of government. Totoo talaga. So, yan ang, ng, yung masakit sa akin. Ak, nasasaktan talaga ako. Kaya ako nagmumura. Because I know the dimension of how it was done. It is, it's not merely, it's not merely in the uh, water sector. It's in the LRT and some lands that were released to them, would you believe it, at 70 pesos per hectare? Yung lupa dyan sa, sa UP. Talagang, if you compute all the corruptions done by those yung mga customs, it pales in comparison sa nakaw nitong. And yet, they come up with a program well publicized that they have this uh, foundation sending people to states, uh, to the United States, and uh, spending. Pero wala yan pang, pang paano lang yan. Kung paano pa, pang, pang salumpas lang yan sa sagot. Ganun ang mga mayaman. Kaya ako, galit ako sa mayaman. Totoo lang. Mas kinoon pang mayor ako. Magtanong kayo ng tagadabo. I never address them. Nami ko yung kayong mga putang ina. Ganoon talaga. Kaya yung mga mayaman doon sa dabo, careful sa akin. I mean, they, 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 they measured and calibration yung maglapit sila sa akin. Kaya hindi ako masyadong madali kausapin. Eh kung pobre pa, Eh, kung taga-bukid ka, I, I could spend an hour talking with you about what ails your 
family. Pero ito mga mayaman, naon ko pa yan ako. How are they supposed to pay the Filipino people? You started to collect environment enhan- enhancement. That's the term. Tingnan nyo sa biling ninyo. Alam mo ano yan? That is the fee that they are collecting since time. And it was uh, when the contract took effect. Yun yung water treatment. So, ilang water treatment fees ang nakolekta nila since then? Kasi hanggang ngayon, wala namang ni isang tarong panlinis. Wala. Ang itang masakit dyan, yung corporate income tax nila, pinapasa nila doon sa consumers. Yun naman mga consumers, Ididak nila expenses, water and and light and all this. If they are exempted, edi wala rin makuha ang gobyerno. Nalugi pa. Yan ang mahirap. At marami pa. Marami pa akong talagang... Ako, I do not want to sound vindictive. I am not vindictive. Masampal lang kila, tapos na tayo. Masipa lang kita, tapos na ako. Okay na ako. Pero yung gano'n na kulukuhan. As long as corruption does not stop, hindi kaya. Kaya magbantay kayo sa kung sino yung son of a bitch doon sa ita. Because it started with Ramos, then it was uh, given an extension even before it expired. Hindi pa mag hindi pa mag expire yung ano lang ito sila distributor lang ng tubig itong mga putang inang ito. Rinig man nila yan kaya may may camera man sila diyan. Ayan. Makinig kayo ng husto, mga tulisan kayo. Mga yawa, okay, lahat. Talagang galit ako sa inyo. Eh, potak maari lang. Ganunin ko yung muka ninyo sa ano. Pag makita ko, eh, eh, hindi lang ako pumupunta yung mga inestambayan ninyo, mga siangrila, mga ano. Hanggang San Marcelino Beer House lang ako. Mga walang hiya kaya talaga, sa totoo lang. I don't know what I'll, I'll do with you. I, I have not decided really. I have not decided on anything. Ay, ayahan mo yan. Basta ganito. I have uh, ordered Guevara, the Justice Secretary, to prepare pati si Kalida. In, silang dalawa. A draft. Pirmahan nila yan, eh, kung hindi nila pirmahan, I will suspend all the contracts. And I will take over the operation dyan sa tubig na distributor. I will let the military operate it and I will file charges for large-scale stopa. Yan ang mangyayari sa kanila. Yan talaga. At pagka ganun, huwag lang nila akong ipitin. Ipitin nila ako ng kaso one after the other. I will really, I say it now, and I say it again, makinig kayo. Hindi ako susunod. Kasi ang lumalakad niyan, pera ninyo. Ang gawin ko, paghuhulihin ko na lang kayo. At gusto kong makita ang mga bilyonaryo, pati bilyonaryo, 
sa Pilipinas na sa kulungan. Basi isang buwan lang para makita talaga ninyo. Galit talaga ako ng galit. Sabi ang pin, ginawa ninyo sa Yan ang meron pa nakalimutan ko na lang kasi mayroon pang so many issues na hindi talaga ako bibigay dyan. Now, ang sinabi ko, the reason why I am sinning it ko dito is, if I do not, including the military, if I do not reach the finish line sa term ko, huwag ninyong bitawan ito. I'm not saying that you go violent. Just a simple nudge to the congressman and to your officer. Putang ina, huwag ninyong biruin ito. Dugo ng Pilipino to. Pira mo, kitaya pa ang magbayad. Tapos yung lahat na. Kalukuhan na. Huwag ninyong bitawan ito. No, if you do not, if you cannot <clears throat> get the justice that uh, the Filipino deserves, to the military, oh, to the police, tell them, kalabitin ninyo. Pakit, pakit tulong ha. I do not, I do not suggest anything ako dito, mga military. Bahala na silang unong gawin nila. Sabi ninyo, Hoy, you are supposed to be the protector of the Constitution. We are being rubbing blind. Please do something about it because that's the money of the people. Ganun lang yan. Sabi ninyo, military, ano ginagawa ninyo? Paano yung pera namin? Patapos paano kung sila pa? Eh kung manalo, tapos i-renegotiate, ganun rin ang mangyari. Since I assumed office in 2016, the DSWD has served over 4 million poor households. Uh, the agency continues to assist and most, the most needy communities by providing free medicines and medical services, social pension to indigent military citizens, spearheading disaster relief operations, feeding malnourished and street children and indigenous peoples, and rendering other support services to recovering drug users, among others. Ang mapigat nito lahat, I don't know if you can make it, but I hope uh, this WD can really hack it. Ang problema natin hanggang ngayon is still drugs. Every day, if you look at the crawlers, yung tumatakbo yung sa ano, then the main story whatever, nandyan yung crawlers na kikita tumatakbo. Ayan. Araw-araw yan, 10 billion, 6 billion. Tapos itong mga, mga human rights, patay Malaysia lang. Yan, everyday may mga tao yan na tinamaan. Alam mo, may kumaman ka sabihin, alam ninyo pag ang tatay na tumba sa drug, The entire family, the entire poor family of Filipino, they become dysfunctional. Itong isa, wala nang batatabaho, babae, magputa na lang. Itong isa, they would go, maghanap kung saan, ang pinagamaan, madali, druga. Papasok ito sa druga. Kasi ito, To sustain his vicio, maghanap talaga ng biktima yan. At ito, maghanap rin ng biktima para to sustain his drug addiction. Ganun yan ito. Kaya sa isang ano, hindi mo malaman kung 
Now, the, the, the social dysfunction created sa pamilya. Ito, wala na. Lulubog na lang yan sa isang kanto sa bahay, maghihintay. Ito, maghanap ng hanap buhay. Paski saan? But usually, the easiest now, yung parang sure fire to earn money, magpunta sa abroad. Alam naman ninyo sa abroad. I'm telling you frankly, I've been there because I tried to save three, three girls from Turil, Davao City, and two from Kidapawan. Nakuha ko lahat yan. Because King Fad was at that time, buhay pa. Medyo ano na siya, dementia. Pero may lucid interval, naka-timing lang ako. Nakuha ko. Sinabi talaga sa akin ng parliament member, yung counterpart ko, kausap sabi niya, you know, in the Arab culture, not all Arab culture, but in some Arab culture, rape is part of the territory. Kaya kita mo yung mga Pilipina Magtakbo na lang sa sala papuntang bintana. They simply just throw themselves. So, maalaman mo kung gaano sila kahirap. And the newest victim, battered black and blue with no internal organs. I am not saying that it is not uh, uh, the failure of... Alam mo, the fact that... Uh, an investigation was conducted immediately. And uh, hinuli yung dalawang. To me, si Bebot kasi ang, ano, ang apurado. Ako, the fact that there was an investigation and there were arrests made and there are pe- people in detention, para sa akin, okay na sana. But ayaw ko ano nakain itong Ilocano na to. Talagang mainit siya. So, opisina niyan, hindi na ako nakialam. I do not want to rebuke my cabinet members publicly. So, hinayaan ko siya. Sabi, let us see what develops. Yan na totoo niya. Such an enormous task cannot be done without a sincere heart and mind for public service. I thus commend the thousands of DSWD employees for their unwavering, unwavering dedication to public service. I'd like to tell you a story. The nets of Leprin. Kaming mga anak, tatay ko kasi governor, So, minsan, magkain kami. Alam mo na, bata. Ah, ako, paglaki ko, congressman ako. Ako, congressman, mayor. Tapos, ah, ako, gobernador, pareha kay papa. And my father would just stop it. Kindly stop. Pwede ba kayo maginto? Do you know what public service is? Do you know how to work in government? Do you know the meaning, the dimension of the work? Sabi ng tatay ko, pag pumasok ka sa public service, you must have the heart for it. At kailangan mong mahalin mo yung kapwa mo tao bago ka magserve. And some of you are from Davao. And you know the public record of my father. Ganon yan siya. Kaya binara kami. Take it easy, guys. Take it easy. Bago yan, isipin mo muna kung mayroon ka ba yan. Kasi minsan, magbigla lang yung mag-embrace sa iyo. Mugakos embrace. Puro nana ang katawan yan. Minsan, mag-ubo yan sa harap mo. Parang sar. Ngayon. 
Hindi magdating ng Pilipinas yan. Wala. Ganun, sir. Ang init-init dito. Yung sar hanggang lang doon sa malamig yun. Wala. Wala. Never. Yan umabot dito. So, yan ang, yan ang sinabi na. Kaya ako, conscious ako. Madaling araw, magsigaw sa bahay. Mayor, mayor. Nakagat ang anak mo ng aso. Ayaw na makahintay. Gusto dyan na. Pa, pa. Tapos may madisgrasya. Yung wholesale na disgrasya. Isang jeep. Isang jeep rin yan magpunta sa bahay. Maghingi ng... And in the middle of the night, you have to walk. Uh, to wake up. And... Uh, trabaho ka. Yan ang public service talaga. And without the rancor that goes with it. Yung gising ka na, hindi ka mamutang ina kasi trabaho mo. Such an enormous task cannot be done without a sincere heart and mind for public service. I thus commend the thousands of BWD employees for their tapos ko na ito, unwavering dedication to serve the public. I am confident that you will remain committed, patient, and compassionate as you perform your vital role in uplifting the lives of millions of Filipinos. On this note, I am pleased to mark today's event with the opening of the Malasakit building that will serve as the offices of the 350 to 500 personnel of the DSW, this operation group. As we improve your agency's capacity to serve our people, and as we honor today exemplary DSWD personnel and centers for their outstanding work in helping achieve the agency's mandate, I enjoin each one of you to rekindle your commitment to our shared nation building. Your passion, tama yan. you must have the passion for public service along with your strong adherence to integrity, transparency, and accountability. Inspire many Filipinos to follow in your example and serve the nation with the same fervor. I know that this cannot happen. And this will not happen under the leadership of General Rolando Bautista. Pero itong minsang yung bang mga medisina yung nasa mawala purchases uh, wala dyan. And I remember the chief of the um, sa hospital ng military. AFP, ano? When Dominguez uh, sent me the note, katabi kong Department of Finance sa cabinet nung pinasa niya so, right there and then I ordered the terminus sabi ko wala talaga ako santuhin dito basta corruption basta corruption tsaka yung ano bantayan ninyo yung yung from one desk to another if there is a discretion or a person is allowed to decide that this, uh, how these papers would, would pass on to the next table. Pag inintuan nila yan, pag inupuan nila yan, pag pumunta sa akin yan, tao na yan, at mag-complain. Sorry, I will call you sa opisina ko mismo. At ilagay ko yung pangalan mo doon sa 888. There is a charge against you for corruption. But, ipalagay ko tala. At 
Tawagin kita sa opisina ko. Doon tayo sa opisina ko mag-usap. Only by looking after the welfare of each other can we make a great nation. This is the essence of the malasakit at pagbabago. I am humbled and inspired to see these values burning in your hearts. Keep this, fl keep this aflame with your genuine love for country and people. Kawa naman kasi yung mga tao. Yung mga mayaman, kita mo yung mga mayaman, yung pa sila ang magnakaw. Hindi nila kailangan tayo. They do not need us. They really do not need us. Yung mga, maya, yung mga pobre, wala yan. Kailangan nila tayo. Ang mga mayaman, ah, bullshit, yung mga yawaan, wala yan. O ba, basi anong administrasyon, nakadikit yan. And always, yung corruption. Yung corruption, nasa taas palagi yan. Kung anong bulto yan, tag isang barko, tag isang... Kaya, tayong maiwan na Pilipino, guard against it. And complain. Pagka may nalaman kayo, baski hindi dito sa ano ninyo, complain mo. Isigaw mo. Para ma... Ako sabi ko nga, pag ikaw, you know, the one thing that is na, uh, at least a, 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 an equality that is not uh, universally dito sa Pilipinas, kasi ang mga tao parang hindi assertive. Pag pinaparinggan lang ganon, magtingin na na, no? sige, bigay na lang. They do not assert. I really do not know what's happening to our people. But unless you assert your right as a Filipino and can really afford to do the things that... Ako, ang sabi ko, pag hinihan kayo ng pera, if you ask money for something and it's a monetary thing and he will say that he will attack on it without giving... Uh, without receiving the money, rather. I am urging you to make a noise. Make a scene. Sampalin mo, sipain mo. Magkagulo yan. Pag magkagulo yan, it will reach my ears. Kasi may nagkagulo doon sa Department of Health. Magtatanong ako kung bakit. And I will intervene. At ako na ang papatay sa putang ina niya. Ihulo ko lang yan sa agdanan. Ganon tala. You have to be assertive. We have to tell the Filipinos to be assertive. Yan ang wala sa atin. That is why. Learn to be assertive and I'll back you up. Really, I will to the hill. Ako ang mag-backup sa inyo. Lalo na sa magagandang babae. Iba siya kung makatingin. Pasaybiyo. Maraming salamat po. <laughs>